Hey there, this is our first time meeting. My name is Brian. I'm a web designer. I want to make a quick video comparing Google Fonts to Adobe Fonts, specifically in Webflow. Now, if you use Webflow like I do, we've all come across the screen before when it comes time to choose our fonts. I know some people prefer Google Fonts, some people prefer to use Adobe Fonts. So I wanted to find out which one is truly the best for your projects. So I did some research, found some people's reactions when they use both, and I wanted to share those findings with you. First, I want to discuss Google Fonts. At the time of this recording, there are 1,064 font families available on Google Fonts. And some of the pros are it's licensed under an open source license. So if you're working on client projects, you wouldn't have to worry about any licensing issues that would arise down the line. Another positive of using Google Fonts is there's a concept called browser caching, which means the font will load the first time you visit a website, and then the browser will save that font each time thereafter you visit the website. So the first time it loads will be technically the slowest time, and then each time thereafter it will be faster than that original load time, if that makes sense. Now, some of the cons I found with Google Fonts is some people complained about quality issues, and other people have complained about the limited choices. Now with Adobe Fonts, there are more options available. At the time of this recording, there are 2,425 font families available. And some of the pros are it's high quality fonts with a lot of professional foundries. And it syncs with all your Adobe products. So if you have a big brand that uses Photoshop, InDesign, After Effects, all your brand fonts will be synced across all of the platforms. So you'll be able to have some brand synergy. Some of the cons are it's licensed exclusively to you. So you are the end user, which means that your client would have to have Creative Cloud for themselves to use these fonts. And so that could just create so much headaches down the line. So that's one thing to think about if you want to use Adobe fonts in your Webflow project. In addition, KeyCDN did a study using Open Sans comparing Google fonts to Adobe fonts. And they found that when Open Sans was used through Google fonts, their website loaded just under half a second at 0.476. When it was used with Adobe fonts, the load time was slightly slower at 1.253 seconds. And everyone knows that when it comes time to load time, even milliseconds are of the essence. So that's one thing to consider if you want to use Google fonts or Adobe fonts. And lastly, a lot of people have certain fonts they prefer on Adobe fonts that aren't available on Google fonts. For example, some people might prefer to use Noye Haas Grotesque or Helvetica. Some people might prefer to use Futura. There are some alternatives that are similar on Google Fonts. Like for example, if you want to use Futura, a common replacement for Futura on Google Fonts is a font called Jost. And I'll bring that up real quick. So you can see it's very similar to Futura. Another one is a lot of people like using Noye Haas Grotesque or Helvetica. And for me, when I want to find something similar, one of my favorite fonts to use is a font called Inter, and I'll bring that up real quick. And you can see that Inter is a very similar to Helvetica. So that was my brief comparison about Google Fonts or Adobe Fonts. Thank you for watching. If you have any recommendations on what you found, please sure to leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching.